Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everybody, Test2 here and OJ here. Welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports of Round 2. This time it's another matchup. As you already seen the preview of the first look of the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Bruins, this is game two for the Leafs and the Bruins. But other games will be happening here in game one, so you will see them later on the other side for the Western Conference. This part of the matchup is now going to be a great one to take. The rematch in between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Bruins. Last time, the Bruins made their great, great run of his appearance in the regulation period. But the Maple Leafs have that answer call as they already shut them down here against the Boston Bruins. There was no other way to try and defend it or stop one. Because all that happened, it was really like the heart and a brutalist matchup right in between those two. So therefore, we're at to find out who's going to take the next win. Now for the next commentary I will have is Terry Crews along with Son of Beast and the center ice is me phone. We'll be back with the post-game show right after this game. I'll be seeing you all again soon on the other side. Now, enjoy the game! Here we go! Hey everybody, it's Terry Cruz, and I'm here with Son of Beats. This is Game 2 at the TD Garden Arena. Ready to show how it's done. Opening face-off, ready to get this thing going. Right in between, uh, Swayman and Santana. We're off to go. Game two ready. The Boston Bruins will carry the puck over. He now finds Grizzlick. Grizzlick will find Pachinox. Pachinox right toward the right side. He tries to give it over again to Coyle. Finds a pass to Marchand. Big save on the play as Marchand will try to kick it over to Grizzlick. McAvoy's got it across again to Grizzlick. A chance for Marchand. Shoots it. He scores. That's a no contest in trying to get this thing over and done. But that was how that happened. You have that goal star and slam it in. Bruins on the start. 1 0 over the Maple Leafs. They look like they want to try and put the revenge this time. Well, but they might do what they want, but it's not going to happen really with all that face-off wins because they don't have any ones to take the right choice. You might have just heard of it, of how they are playing it really well, but that didn't really change at all what they are going for. I see so many of our passing plays in between, but I have a bad one to take. Florida Panthers and the Bruins are definitely the max, max, roughest matchup because the Panthers, they are a pretty good team. And I don't know if I wanted to go with that. It's because if nothing is going to take over it, they're really trying to stop one here. Santana's going to hold that puck with only in the first period. 18.48 to go. Now for the next face off, ready to go. One up makes a start for the Bruins. The wing will put it up for a Lindgren. Tries to hold it over, now finds again to Domi. Looks it over again to Nylander. Nylander fires that puck out of the way, and now he goes with the rebound. Bruins will have their chance. Takes a swipe out of it. Now it's a rebound. Put it in here. Try to give it off to again with another player. Big stop on a chain by Swayman. Read that bounded by Bertuzzi, and now he gives it again to Lindgren. One save. 18-13 left to go in the first period. Holding for another save for Swayman. The Bruins wins the faceoff as Loray will have it again to Carlo. Open-ended pass, trying to give over it again. Van Meyer's chance. Spins it around, now finds it over again to Loray. This is again to Carlo. Carlo shoots. Save on a play by Santana. Mason spill, and this one goes back again to Loray. The Bruins can't hold on with that one. The Bruins trying to answer their attacker's own. And Loray back on the outside. Zaka, over to get on the right. Firing across again to the Bruins. A lot of great chances here. The Bruins fans are getting loud with TD Garden. Looks to Carlo. 
Watching that play in between, he looks to go over and get on the way. Great chance for Ray Myers. On a good shot, big save by Santana. Zaka finds again by Myers. Carl shoots, what save by Santana. 17-01 to go in the first period. Full pressure's on for the Bruins. A lot of big chances out there. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not going to always turn to be a little easy on this one, but you got to give that one a credit to because the Boston Bruins are really like the better team to go with some back-to-back. -back. Hopefully by the season, he will try to make that one clear and make the win. Heinen lost that puck as Marner will happen to get to Matthews. Shoots it to Flock. Frederick now finds it over to get to Schenninger. Fires the puck around the net. Once again to Heinen and now finding Wilmerspoon again to Frederick. Frederick over to Wilmerspoon. The pass play broken up by Matthews. Matthew takes in the chance. Wilmerspoon gives it again to Frederick. Gains his own right for the wing. Near the slot. Finds a pass as Lidwin blocks it up. 16 minutes to go in the first period. Now finds Matthews. And it's broken up the chain. Finds it again to Heinen. Biden, right toward in the right wing, trying to move it around. Looks it over now to Schenninger. Nay, he's got that puck. Now he's back again to Marner. Marner with the big hit. Frederick, they just big spill here, and it goes back to Ludgren. Ludgren finds Brody. Brody right towards the wing. Looks it again to Matthews, and big stop by Swainman. Back to Schenninger again to Pasternak. Austin on the attack, trying to find an answer. Look, it's Marchand back over again to Coyle. Coyle can't hold on with the puck. Tavius with the puck, trying to hold it in. Back again to Yorkwood. Wilson finds it over again to Lugren. Poster knocks on him. Finds it past the big man. McMahon, through the slot. City puts it about by Swayman. Now, the bigger are better on the drive. I, I really like it when they were doing it a better way. You know, this is not what the offense is picking it up. That's what you need to know for, because that is playing in for the better save of the drive. They need to have that one right away. That shot's blocked, and oh boy, he is a little bit disappointed out there, but he's still okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one of the defenders of the Leafs really can be trying to go with some comebacks in there, but I have no questions of how they're going to do. Probably they might be ending it up for Oliver. May have to get their fruit. That pass finds again a bonus. Near towards the net. Tries to get it off the Grizzly. Looks again to Locko. Locko shoots, and this one shoved it up and back to Riley. Fox stays in at least territory. Looks again to Brazu. And Bovitz will have to give it over again. A shot for attempting for Locko. Trying to put it back in there as he goes back to Bovitz. Can't hold on with the puck here, and this one's still back again to Grizzly. Shoots one. Saved by Samson. Just about 13.23 left to go in the first period. Only one knows the score. Lots of time left in this period. Bruins still holding on their lead in game two. Now the win puts in for Loray, and now back to Carlo. Shoots one. Blocker stop made here by Santana. Finds it now again to Carlo. Carlo gets it over to get another way, and now he will have to find a good moment to Van Myers. Van Myers just gets bumped up. Now back to Riley on the play. Goes again, but Terzi tries to pull it out. Dumps the puck out. loray has got that puck. Trying to keep the deep pass to Van Myers. Van Myers on the attacker. And the breakaway chance, six one. No deflection here. This one's going back to Nylander. Now the Toronto Maple Leafs in the air chain. This one's broken up. Right behind the net is Loray, and now he finds over to Zaka. Zaka right towards the right wing. Fires the puck around again to Van Myers. For the back end, save puts up by Santana. They're really starting to go in bigger, and they need to do some a lot of help. This offense can't let that one be pressure in there if they're trying to look for another way to get it defended over. And the team goes outside as Wolverston try to get the puck out back in near the blue line. Ready to take another face off. So one nothing lead. The win will play it up by Wolverston and give the high in. High in trying to grab it across again to Frederick. Frederick gives the shade and can now find Wolverston. Six one and the save puts up by Santana. 
Lia Chansky here. Still a lot of saves to put in for Samsonov. A lot of time left in this period. Still no score in the game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Only one for the Bruins. Matthews wins the faceoff. It's Libushkin with the puck. Now gives it over to Matthews again to Riley. 11.30 left to go in the first period. Off to Marner. Marner. Pass broken up as Wilberspoon gives it again to Frederick. Frederick trying to make his way across. Fires the puck around the net. And here's Kiki. Kiki to the back end. Big save play by Santanov. Really have to maintain things up, but that is what the old goodness is. That's what they are putting in. Pete's sick. Can't let that happen. Saving up, and it's now offside called on Bruins. The win will put up a shame throwing, and now find again to Wilberspoon. Looks it again to Coyle. Oh, big hit, a low moment for the, for the Leafs. They really are not going anywhere right now. Mike Bruschi took a little bit of a hit, trying to put a contact out there and said, give me that. That was going to be like a big tumble takedown like it's a WWE Matt Wrestling matchup, but I wouldn't mind that if that would be it. Nice with the puck now finds Matthews. On a cutting motion. Smashes up to the board. Now finds Coyle. Taking it over to turn by Marchand, and now he finds Pasternak. Pasternak, go for back end. Save puts up by Samsonov. Shoots it, save. Big play about under siege with nearing a midway mark in the period. Officers are getting set and ready for the faceoff. One nothing to score, looking for a chance to take the goal in the right away. And now it's Lindgren with the puck now finds Nylander. Nylander finding a cross right toward the right wing. This one's broken up. The Leafs are back in the offense, trying to pick up the number of territory on the attack. Nylander right towards the right wing, finds Bruce Hersey, shoots, saved by Swayman. 9.28 to go in the first period, still looking for a goal for the Maple Leafs. The wind will put up for the Maple Leafs. Brody shoots. Trying to put up a rebound here, and now it's back to Locko after a chopped up, and Phobos with the puck. Keeps the puck out of range, and now back the air away is Carlo. Carlo for the back end! Not enough to beat there as Samsonov picks up another save. You know, it's never been a dude, but they gotta make sure they have that one knocking in there. And there is no other way they can't try to attack it, but because at this point, this needs to have a go-ahead motion. They need to do something else instead of the backhander with the shot. That shot misses the target. And the puck escapes his own with under nine minutes. Now the Bruins will have it. The deep fire play by Loray. Loray over again to Carlo. Carlo gets again to Loray. Shoots it! Trying to put a wrist shot, but it's been stopped again by Samsonov. Debrusque trying to make his way across again to Van Myers again to Carlo. Here's a shot. Save on the play. Zaka over to the board shot. Can't hold on with the puck. And Samsonov's going to hold that puck up. 8.16 to go in the first. They really are just trying to attack it. I don't know what's going on, but this one is really trying to be like unbelievable play. They gotta find another way to try to stop one. The Bruins win the face out. Shoots one glove save! 8-11 to go in the first period. Trying to find another attacker to have it in. Austin Matthews with a shocking out ability taking a great look at redirection hit. Charlie McAvoy is one of the better of his technique, but David Pasternak has one of his snipe zone ability that can take all over from here, from a longer distance to the stride and have that target out. I'll be finding out those two in between Austin Matthews and the David Pasternak right on the other side of the team. These are the ones heavy one breakers like it's a rival team. Back to you. Now that the Bruins will have it, and about to stop a Here's McAvoy with a chance now, firing the puck in the deep. As Frederick will have that puck in the range, gives it over again to McAvoy. McAvoy watching that play. Austin Matthews 
Campbell down to the cut. Heine keeps the team alive. Moves around. Rolling shot. But it's stopped again by Santanov. We really have to be clear right now. Santanov has been trying to get this way out to his attention. The battle run doesn't mean to anybody. But they really have to be up there as soon as they get there at the right timing. The Bruins and the Leafs are trying to find another solution. That's right now still 1-0 near the 7 minute mark. Now the win puts in for the Bruins. This one's blocked in traffic as it goes right again to Marchand. And Leibuski will have it over again now finding McMahon. Big hit. Finding McMahon over and right towards the center of the ice. Leibuski can't hold on to the puck. Whereas up down finds McAvoy and the puck seal almost broken up by Charlie McAvoy. Swing from the side to side. Oh, bump out! Marshan keeps the puck alive. With a new line change. Whereas it just can't hold on with the puck. Coyle gives the game a shanning card. Here's Coyle. Fires a shot. Big deflection is denied by Santanov. 6.04 to go in the first period. We really need to be out there. I mean, that deflection is going to be a little bit changing. If they need to get this one's timing right, they got to be here fast. Now to win, the one-timer will be enough. Van Myers, the full pressure's on. Reeves kicks the puck out of here and Stamp will try to end it over by Holberg. Holmberg trying to get into the middle. Shoot scores! The Audi ties this game in the first period as one for the Bruins and one for the Leafs. Just how Holmberg does it here, he makes that one a little bit blinding, intending the goaltender to get right away. That one was not even easier when you took it in between the defender to try to knock him out. But that one surpasses through Swayman. That wasn't easy enough to get from here. Teams are tied up with one, and just only nearing a five minute mark, it's a 1-1 game. And now with the win for the Leafs, Brody will now have to try to give it over, and now the pass back to Wolverspoon. Broken up the play. Wolverspoon trying to give it over to get a shaking curtain, and now he gives it again to Van Myers. Back again to Zaka, moves it again to Russ. The Vail Zaka wants to see if he can get there. It's stopped made by Samsonov. This one stops the play with 5.12 to go. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in the crowd. It's a tie game. Winning face off puts in. Not enough to beat this one time goal effort. Zaka trying to get that puck out of here. But it's now Nylander with the puck chance. Under five minutes to go as Lako will have it. Lako couldn't hold on with the puck. Nobody to find an open room. Nylander, here's Domi. Domi can't hold on with the puck chance. Now here's Bobis. Bobis fires the puck around the net. And keeps the puck alive, and there's a penalty call. There's the first one calling in for the Boston Bruins. Not when you are starting things up here, because Brazu, he just can't afford it. He had that one pressured out, but unfortunately, he's in a penalty box now. Fans are disappointed for the, for the, for the Bruins, as now the first power play starts off for the Toronto Maple Leafs. The teams are set, ready for the face-off. Power play will be starting in for the Toronto Maple Leafs with 4.24 to go. As the win will put it up for Boston Bruins, he is Coyle, he will try to keep it out. Here's Marchand with the puck. Marchand tries to give it over to McAvoy. McAvoy trying to be in trouble right now, Shannon Kirk will try to get to Marchand! Way high off the net! The Maple Leafs are back in the offense as Marner will try to pick it up. For the lead, this one's chopped up. Marner gives it again to Riley. Riley finds Matthew, should save. Back and over, he scores! Mitchell Marner, a closing corner. It's a power play goal for the Leafs.
Well, you have to find a narrow way because the Mitchell Martyr, he was close and by. When you give up a good pass, that's what happened to Mitchell Martyr. He had that one closing in tight. After Paterzi's pass, this one was getting in closely right in between. Can't let him stand down because that takes it over with the bank angle look. Now their team is in a lead, the 2-1 score. It's now a Boston Bruins trail and the Maple Leafs in the lead. Now here's the pass. Frederick will try to give it over again. And Heineken can't hold on with the puck and try to reach it in. Langushkin now has it across again to Marner. Marner with a swipe. And Carlo will now have it over again to Geeky. Geeky losing the puck in range. And now finds Marner again to Matthews. Matthews shoots. Big save on the play by Swayman. Three minutes to go in the first period. Tries to handle it off. And Frederick will have it again. And now the Carlo again to Loray. Shoots it. Save by Samsonov. 247 left to go in the first period. Still trying to find an answer to get a tie. Now the win for the Bruins and shoots it. Saved by Samsonov. Here's McMahon. Back the airway right towards into the left wing. Here's John Brook. Shoots it. Save! Swayman back again to Will Ray and Ray Myers with a chance. You know, that was a little closer to call. I was really noticing. Back took it over again, and I don't know what happened because that really is trying to mess something up, and this was no way that they can try to like defend it. They need to have that one with another clear look and try to back it out. Ray Myers will be it back again to Bavel Zaka, and now he is again to Carlo. Stick lift in the chain, and McMahon will have it. Great poker to reach here for the Boston Bruins. Now he will keep the puck out of here, finding to get to Zaka. He's in the corner now, now finding over to get to Grizzly. The new line changed to pursue, and it's broken up the play. Teenagers with the puck with 90 seconds left to go. Here's a pass to McMahon. Great save by Swayman. Grizu right over with 120 to go. Now he has to give it over to get to Bopis. Let's look again to McAvoy. Shoots way high. Off the glass and it goes back to the Lander. Just one minute remaining in the first period. Still a 2-1 game as Grezik will try to carry the puck in. Grezik trying to keep the heat back over. Locko can't hold on with it. Icy's whistle on the Boston Bruins as they'll be ready to take their next advantage for a faceoff. A lot of time left in this period, but this one's running down as two more periods to go. And a win will put it up for the Boston Bruins. Tries to keep it out of here. Holds on tight for Sweeman. Now he finds Brazu. Brazu just couldn't hold on. Takes a swipe hit. Obis with a rebound. Trying to give off to McAvoy. McAvoy and his foot loses his zone. Now here's McAvoy, trying to repuck it again, again to Locko with 10 seconds. He's got to make it. Bovis, need to get the shooting down. And this way has been broken to play. Shoots it, and off the fender it goes. That will end the first period. A good goal for Mitchell Marner. Now a 2-1 game. We'll get to the second period when we come back. After the break. Ready for the second period? It's that time. All the ice is freshened up and we're ready to go. On to another good face off and a better chance is ready to get things back into work. It's a tie in a close game and the rival between those two, 2-1. Two, Alright, let's have you take your set of piece of how they did in the first period recap. They got to find an answer down there. They really are starting to make that one show and off. But this wasn't really that how that we're going to try to like stop in the playables in between. They are really more efficient. They're trying to make that one a lot of harder and bound and that one is like a big transition to go with the trick. They're trying to have a fine answer goal if they can get there in between. Hopefully there's another chance here for the Bruins if they can tie this game up. Dumps the puck out into the Bruins territory as McAvoy will have a puck over. Tries to give a game to Bresley. The team is in the offensive zone. Kreslick right towards the corner. Watching the play in between, here's McAvoy. 
Hunter Merchant, for two, saved by Samsonov. That was a good chance out there because the Samsonov was trying to get that goal in there. That was a ripping rocket, but that didn't really cut it in there. Lots of time left in this period. Maple Leafs have been a better team in a Canadian matchup against the Florida Panthers with a win in the first round as it's still a 2-1 game. Here's Greslick. Finds a quick pass again to McAvoy. McAvoy, right turn and moves, shot, steps him down. Back a shot, and a great good save by Sansonov. Still a lot of time left in this period. Two ones a score. And as for Domi wins in the faceoff, here's Riley again to Bertuzzi. Trying to keep it out. Big tackle takedown. As the Bruins are trying to add another skater onto it to have it in there. And the Bruss with a chance. Back pass again on the way, and he goes in again to Carlo. Carlo swings across. Same play. Van Myers back the airway finds the way as the full press is on. They're trying to get it off to Lorraine. But two is he trying to handle it out. The pass finds the Pushkin. Here is Riley. Big hit on the play. Five Van Myers. Keeps the puck in the side of the zone and back to like Pushkin. Finds a pass. Great stop here, but it went offside. You know, that's a hard playable when you go for pressure, but that wasn't really easy when you give that one a good look. Now another face-off ready to get this thing in, back in the lineup, still 2-1 game. Bruins wins the face-off as Carlos enters into the Leafs territory. And can't hold on with the puck here. Yonko got it across. Back to Carlo with the poke check. Frederick will try to keep the puck out of here, and Heinen unable to flick it out. Lots of time left in this period. Still need to find a good quick draw in between the Bruins and the Maple Leafs. It's a little bit close up in between. Now that we're waiting for the Boston Bruins, we'll hand it over to the other side, back to Heinen. In the corner now, what will he do? Geeky gives it again to Shanker. Shanker finds it over again to Geeky. Geeky finds a way to Shannon Kirk and a shot! Big old rebound! Oh, that kickback saved denies the shot! This one rebound has to go with an extra skater, extra room, and there was a little bit of a go-ahead chance, but that changed it over. Samsonov was really closing that gap out of here. That was a lot harder than he had. And there's a boarding call. That's going to be on the Maple Leafs. And now, here comes the power play for the Bruins. John Tavir is in the penalty box, ready for the power play. You know the captain didn't really think he was going to care, care for that? That's because he doesn't really think he wasn't, it wasn't always him, but that caught him. He just made a slash call. That one's going to empty it out. Not so good at all. The Bruins wins the face off. Now Pastor Knox will have to give it over to the give and go look. And that one will escape the puck out of the zone. Geeky will try to give over to Pasternak, and now he gives it again to McAvoy. The team is back into the full pressure zone. No play here. The Brust finds it away, and Pasternak will try to give it over again, finding McAvoy. Here's another choice for the Brust. Shoots! In rejection and stuff it out of here! McAvoy now finds it again to Pasternak. Tries to take the attempt. Spins around, great stop on the angle. Now the pass is then broken up. The Brust trying to hold the puck in there. McAvoy recovers the puck. Marchand trying to hold it in there. Brody moves it around. Now finds it over again to Mitchell Marner. Good poke takeaway for Pasternak, but it still keeps alive. Now the Bruins will have their chance. Pasternak right towards in the center. Firing cut and bound by Stiki. Look at Rue! Save on the play! Oh, big time step here by Samsonov! This one's really going to be a close call for Samsonov. He had a lot more room. He had to get it done. Officially getting set, ready for the faceoff. Still a 2-1 game with 15 minutes. Now he made it to the mark with 30 seconds for the power play for the Bruins.
Austin Matthews takes a little swipe down. Another kick for the Bruins. Shannon Kirk trying to give over it again to Luray. Time ticking down in 20 seconds. Here's Van Myers. Spins across. Finds a pass. McCabe's got that puck. Looks like he's ready to get back out there. John Tavir's a set. Luray finds Koya. Power plays over for the Boston Bruins. 0-2 in a game. Looking like they wanted to have more room and have a little bit more time, but it's been stopped. That corruption has been putting in there. That they believe have been a strong team already. They're trying to have that answer, but there's no way they couldn't stop it. They really are just trying to have that one's full strength, full power. They need to have another technique to get in there. After icy whistle, here's Loray. Now find Zaka. Zaka trying to find his way across right now to make a spin around move. Cuts it across, now find Shannon Kirk. Give it go screen moment to Loray. Loray shoots, stopped there by Samsonov. 13.41 left to go in the second period. Now we're ready for our face off. Still a lot of time to remain. The Boston Bruins still trying to trail back and tie it up. And the win will put in for the Leafs, and here's Yonko. Good take from Puck, as the Ray will have it over. Zooms him down, oh man, Russ is denied by Swayman. Heinen right towards the corner of the wall, and now finds Kiki. Kiki finds over it again. The Ray trying for Scott at the cross here. Takes a big hit. Rebound of the puck here, and it's now the Leafs' turn. And Carlo will have it here. Looks again to Heinen. Over now to Geeky. Geeky trying to give up to Frederick to shoot on the inside. Sam's and I have only a tight gear. Trying to loose that chain out there. Sight, no quick curry. Now the win will put it up as right now here's the win again to Brody. Brody trying to make his way across, trying to go to the other side of the ring. It's high and will have that puck in. Keeps the puck out of the zone. And Geeky will try to give it over. Frederick with the puck steal. He tries to give it over again. Here's Lindgren with a chance. This one's broken up the chain. And Tavius will give it again to Brody again to Lindgren. Grzyk's got that puck. Boston in transition now finding McAvoy. 12 minutes remaining in the second period. He goes crushing for the boards. What a big count. Then this one big on taking over for Lugren. He's not really taking his chance a lot. They're saying that this is need to be a closing game. We have to try to defend it. And this is not turning to what they were expecting to do because at that point, they need to have that one a better look at their offense. I have a lot of a, a bad feelings of what's going on if there's a take in between. Osternach's trying to handle it over, and he lost that puck. Holmgren gives it again to Leibushka. Here's Riley. Riley, big hit. As Osternach will have it over it again, now find McAvoy. Back to Ben Myers. Big play on a dirty hit. Here's Zaka. The tightest game. Riley blocks a shot. Here's Reeves. Wolverspoon tries to handle it over and now gives it again to Shannon Kirk over it again to Ben Myers. Trying to keep the puck alive as the Brust will have it. Broken up the play. Ben Myers trying to get Leibuski out of here. Austin Matthews trying to go for a shock at all moment. He stops the puck and this will keep the puck out of here for a clean knees as he has it over to get to Matthews. Shannon Kirk's got it across here. No way room. Dumps the puck out of here. The Leafs are carrying into their offensive zone and now finds Riley. Riley finds again in Lebushkin. And oh boy, that tripping calls on Van Myers. Well, he's too late now. You can't try to trip somebody over. That is going to have to be a bad call. And he's a little disappointed. Can't get that one over. He tried to stop one. Let the defender handle it.
Another penalty kill for the Boston Bruins as the Maple Leafs are adding their power play advantage, trying to look for some clean room to get it out of here. And this Roverspoon will have it over, trying to keep that puck out of here alive, and this one gives them the Roverspoon, and Marshall will clear the puck out of here. Back to Yarn Griff. Yarn Griff finding it over to get a Nylander. Nylander on a full breakaway chain. Good hustle, but that one shot missed wide. Wilbur trying to handle it in. Whoa, what a save by Swayman. Under a midway mark in a period, still a 2 1 game. Now, that's not a way to handle it over because of Jeremy Swayman, he really likes to defend that one off. And this one says, I have no chance of what I've got to go with. There's more progression than that. They really are making this one a hard strength ball over to play that one with his better career shots on goal. I have no idea how am I going to do well enough, and this is a better play than that. They brush carries the puck out of the zone. Yarnfoot struck that puck here right again to Domi. Domi right towards into the right wing. Looks a pass play to Yarnfoot. Great block on the chain. Oh, he's going to take it over. Moves around. He brought the Bears get it back over to get a McMahon. That excellent chance for a short-handed goal, that was nowhere he had to be. That was like taking it over, not a big chance on the play. This was no more luck. They're trying to have that one out of here, a bigger moment. The Bruss clears the puck out of here, as that Samson Alpha will give it over again to John Griff with 8.15 to go. Here's Domi on a breakaway chain, and here's the move. Oh, big save. Looks like that Van Myers is ready to get back out there. Frederick right towards the corner. Poked it away, and that ends the power play for the Maple Leafs. 1-2 of the range, only a power play goal in the first period, but nothing for the second. Well, you know how that happened already. That was a bit of true tightness call. All sets for Jeremy Swayman. That has really been picking it over. They are really trying to make that one a hard shot, but this is nowhere near. They are really are starting to make this one slowing it down. They are making this one a lot of payback prices. Nobody has that one with a good goal effort. This one's really close game. They are really are trying to step it up, and there is no way that they can try to able to stop that puck out of here. And they need to find a never go ahead moment to give a shot and try to step out of here in, in there between. There's a danger zone out there, but let's keep an eye on it if there is a big collision. Riley with the poke, body check slam, and now Domi, back to Nylander, and here's Paterzi, who's that puck is coil, will have it over again to McAvoy. Seven minutes to go in the second period, now with the brush the Marshan. Open up the play as Riley will have it. Over now to Paterzi. But Terzi can't hold the puck here as Riley will have it. On a big play, here's McAvoy. Here's Riley. The boat check back to Pasternak. He now goes deep over to Coyle. Coyle on the 1-1. 2-1 -on -one. -on shoots. Good save by Samsonov. 6.24 left to go in the second period. Trying to find an answer. Look ahead if there is a tie game. Brad Marchand has one of his new contests of the strength. He really has a great way to make his better tribute. He is trying to find another way to get his goal his attention to the pass or an open room for a shot. That's why no contest can't let you take over and make the man down. He's making unstoppable, but there's an unstoppable force. Oh, I think we're going to have to let me play that. I think Marner was really getting it up close. Let's see who does. Oh, yep, he did. He passed the blue line. That's going to have to stand the call. They're making this one a no goal, and this one is no good for the least. That one to try and defend it is not good at all. So the call is confirmed. It is a no goal for the Toronto Maple Leafs. You know you would say that because of that, if it was a close game and this one would have been broken the chain, that would be unhelpful because of that one would be a lucky mate for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're trying to keep that out of here, but this is like, no way, we do not want that goal to be playing in there, and this is was a challenge or no challenge. What if there's a no challenge for the Bruins? That would be a big problem for that. And a shot beat, oh, Marshan didn't really have the spot on the target, as he missed that one on the outside. Frederick's got that puck, now finds it over again on the outside of his zone. 
keeps the puck in alive as Libuskin has that puck. And back to Riley again. Now here's Marner. Shannon Cook trying to hustle it in there. The cut in play. Back to Wilberspoon as Shannon Cook makes a stop and play inbound. And here's a playable chance now as Knees will have it. Swipes it across. Geeky now finally getting to Wilberspoon. The Bruins are still trying to find an open look advantage. As now he finds it again to Heinen. Here's a chance to Carlo. And that's broken up the play. Frederick has that fucking raid. Going to take a shot. Way behind the net. Didn't really think he was ready to go. Larray finds Carlo. Carlo finds it again to Larray. Larray can't hold the puck in here as Larray will have a chance back the other way. Finding some open room, and Carlo needs to find another way to get in there. Moves the puck back and forth again to Carlo. Give it go to Heinen. Heinen trying to keep it in there. Only outside of Carlo again to Larray. Shoots it, good save. Sends it off with 3.44 to go in the second period. Now you never go to get there. Now the official teams are ready to get this thing started. The Boston Bruins wins the with face off as Carlo about it. Shoots right in. No rebound here. Zaka gives it again to Carlo. Carlo trying to watch his way across again to Larray. Shoots it. Big stop. It's off the glove. And Carlo will have it. Full pressure's in his own. Larray is trying to make the team alive. Carlo spins across. We got a shot that was way missed. Carlo shoots it. Great rebound. Zaka. That is undertakeable. There really are no way to try to help him out. Passman are taking in for a better stopping play. We needed this one to go back further. Here's Reslicek. Spins across on the board for the screen. No, Samsonov says. 2.38 to go in the second period. Still looking for a chance to stop one. Now that because of Samsonov was really putting in there, that last play was just unbelievable. That is no way that you have to try and defend yourself, and that one is reachable. He had a lot of time with this room, and that one was off the glove, but you still got lucky. It's unbelievable that you can't just try to mess him up on. Nomi wins the faceoff as Riley gives it again to Labushkin. Lyabushkin right towards the right wing. Over and out of Bertuzzi shoots it as rebounded. Stop made by Swayman. Keeps the puck out of here. No icing is whistled as they are waving it off. As back to Bovis. Find open room to Brazil. Brazil for the back hand and we don't score! An open feed after the pursuit without rebound, that's seven, but Lockdo saw that coming. This was in there and that was no one to defend it. And that pass, this is where the save is, and then that rebound puts a nice goal to make the touch. Easy note for Lockdo on that rebound is put it in there. Bracey was given a good nice feed to have this one with a trick shot. And with a big rebound off the pad, that went with a great look. That is excellent of how you play it and defended yourself and try to keep the puck out of it and stay alive for the Bruins zone to Maple Leaf zone. That's what they do to keep it in there for good. Here's Brazil. Shoots it saved by Samsonov with one for you to go. Oh man, the fans are loving this so far. They're about to tie this game. We're going to see if they can get more to have it done. Chance to put the lead. Two to the score. Now the wave for Toronto Maple Leafs as Riley will have it. Riley trying to swap it in. Now finds it again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi went down and back to Coyle. Coyle gives it again to Marchand. Riley makes a stop. Back to 120 to go. Sliding across in. McElroy. Good puck. Good stop by Swayman. Nearing a final minute in the second period. Still look like the clash is still in between of those two. They are expecting what they can do.
and a win will put up for the Maple Leafs, but it's been Wilbert Spoon taking the puck. Just one minute remaining in the second period as Marner will try to have that answer in. Two on one break, blocker stop made by Swayman. Off to Coyle. Coyle fires the puck around the net. Marchand for the lead! Not this time, but defenders off the stick, and Matthews will have it again to Wiley. Wiley over it again to Nice. Spins across, now finds Marner. Marner getting the Matthews. Here's Knees, and loses the puck range. Nice still has it. Back to again to Matthews. Over now to Riley. Shoots it. Big step of the chain here as Wilbur Spoon gets it again to Ben Myers. Here's Zaka on a breakaway chain looking for a ruin jack trick. Tipping him out with a shot. And a spot skips the zone. The comeback rally puts in from Locko. A tie game for two. Third period underway next. moment as we bring off to the third period in game two at Boston. Well, it's been a wild one as we are bringing our team back to even again. And let's find out who will have the leading face off and for the leading goal of the game. All right, set of beasts, I'll have your thoughts about who you have and how they did. Well, they really are expecting great, great comeback scores for Boston Bruins. But I have a lot of the bigger range that are trying to find a solution in there. They need to have that with a lot of a timing angle. The key is, they need to have this with a better look of their ability. We need to have that one with a good search and search man defenders. They need to make sure they have that one here on the plain side. They have to show them off where they can be before it turns it over to the other man on the, on the other team. This is really trying to be great, but hopefully this will be another chance for a goal or stay even. Nice got that puck. Trying to keep the puck inside the zone. Save! Big time stop! Here's Matthew. Shoots it! Locked it up by Swayman. And off to Pasternak's right towards the middle. And on towards the right. For a chance, fires a shot. Rolling, but it's knocked it out by Samsonov. Riley with the puck. Towards her left way, now finds Nylander. This one stopped. Here's Kraslik. Kraslik right towards the right wing. Off the pass and off. Slides it around, now finding the Brooks. And McAvoy has got it across and trying to fill the pass. No play here. Watching here is Riley. Goes out for McAvoy. And this one stays out, as now Wolverspoon will have it again to Zaka. Here comes the chance! Spins the move, the pass is broken up! But Terzi now finds Nylander, again to Riley. Here's another one for Domi. Good poke check here by Grizzly, as the puck carries on for the Boston Bruins. Here's the Terzi, close save! Swayman with 17 out 8 to go in the third period, trying to find another way to have it out. Teams are set, ready for the face-off. Still a tie game. Both teams are excited, looking for their next goal. And the Bruins wins the face-off as Carlo, big hit in the play, as now he has it again to Heine. Heine trying to handle it in there, and Domi escaping the puck so Larray will dish the puck out of here. And Heine's got it. For the back hit, first hit, save there by Santana. Here's Carla. Carla shoots it. The blocker stop made by Samsonov. Heinen tries it again. He went down after him. McMahon tried to step it up already. He's making this one a lot clearer. He had that one coming in. He said, I'm not afraid of you. You don't take my man with a good goal. Bovis now finds it again to Luray. Luray sidesteps it for the shot. Not enough to beat there as Samsonov picks up a save with 16.03 to go. A lot of time left in this period. Still a tie game between the Bruins and the Leafs. Now the win will put it up as Lindgren finds again to Yarnbrook. Yarnbrook fires the puck out again. And here's Wolverspoon. Off to do it again. Wolverspoon needs to get there in front now fast. 
This one's cracking out. Bobitz went down. Oh, Brody had that one with a good stop. But not an interference call. Uh, I don't know what's the problem with that, but I don't think this may not be an interference. They really are dominating it out. We really have to make this one a lot changer. And Bosnas has it across, trying to put a loose on it. Brody trying to hand it over to Yarnko. Locko. Here's another chance in the play. Another game for the, for the Leafs. Coyle watching that loose play. An uh, excellent move. Finds Bummerspoon. Suits, but save. Stubbs is still holding on with the puck. Now they're ready to do it on face off, which is coming down towards the wire nearing the 15 minute mark. And we're under a 15 minute mark already. And here in the midway mark of the period, as a winning face off is for the Maple Leafs win. Finding a shot. This one's way loose. Shannon Kirk finds it over again. Saka gets again to the Bruce. Here's the breath move. Shoots, but safe. Samsonov still weaving it in there. And it's only 14.33 to go. The Bruins carry another face-off win. Off to Van Mayus. Van Mayus still doesn't have a lot of strength here. Matthews trying to carry that puck in. Watching that play. Good pass broken by McAvoy. That's Charlie McAvoy. Deep pass to Van Vail Zaka. Holds it back down. Here's Van Mayus. For a chance. Sane puts it up by Zedon. He rests now. Finds it again to McAvoy. Over now to Van Mayus. And going back over again to Zaka. Fires a shot. Saved here by Samsonov. Gonna hold that puck here with nearing the midway mark. Still a lot of time left. Austin Matthews wins the faceoff. Heinen now finds it again. A gross look again to McAvoy. McAvoy off to Heinen. Heinen trying to go for the backhand. And shoots it up and over the net. And it stays out of the zone. Off to an air faceoff. Trying to look for some answer back here for the Bruins to put it in. McCabe wins the faceoff and now Bennett will have it. Dumps the puck out. And the fans are growing loud. Here's Heinen. Two on two attack. Losing the puck chain. Can't hold it with the puck steal. Matthews finds a pass again to Marner. Braslick holding it in now with a shot save by Swayman. He's really let go into it now. I mean, he's just trying to help, help it out and get back in there. Big save of the play, and he means everything. And the Bruins wins the faceoff as Kreslick will now have to give it over the board again. Kostinok's trying to get that out of here to get to Jim Kreslick. Here's Coyle. Keeps the puck out of here and will dump it out. No icy whistle. Here's a chance. The Kreslick shoots, and a big pick out. Benioff's got that puck. Now it's over again into the Leafs territory to the Bruins territory. Dumps the puck out of here. Pazernox got it across again. Missed the connection here. Oh, here comes the play. Marchand tries to give off to Pazernox. Pazernox gives off to Coyle. But a backhander. This one takes over back to McCabe. McCabe still looking it over it. On the man of nudge. Steve puts it up by Swayman. Over now to Coyle. 11.35 left to go in the third of a regulation. Now the Maple Leafs will have their answer here as we pass it over to get to Domi. And Carlo will have it over again. Now finds Zaka. Zaka trying to handle it over now into the zone. He finds the crust. Block the shot. Zaka still has it across again to Carlo. And off to Lorraine. Here's a chance for Ramayu. Shoots it! Big save on the play! And Samsonov holds that puck! With just 11 minutes to go. You really are expecting now that Samsonov was creating a bigger save on the game. And that was really close near to the end of it. 
but that wasn't really helpful at all. They are really are trying to maintain it and they need to have another look if they can have that back in there. Dumps the puck up into the Bruins territory. Now the Ray will have to make a new change off to Van Mayes. Van Mayes still alive. In towards the wing. And back again to Lorraine. He gives it again to Zaka and now finds Carlo. Carlo gives a pass again to Lorraine. And finally again to Van Mayes. Suits it. Big save on the play. This one broken up. Now it's back to the breast. And he kicks the puck again to Carlo. Big rebound take over here. You gotta make that one a good connection in there. That communication needs to have that skill in there when they're keeping the puck away. And shot is off the blocker. And DeBrus trying to get the lead off score. The Zaka with the shots play. Here's Carlo. Carlo gives it over. Broken up the pass. And DeBrus. Here's Riley for the lead. Now the Brust will have it in. The pass over to get a Carlo. Now finds Kiki. Here's a 2 on 1. Pass breaking a chain. Oh, Hyman losing the timer of Vestian and now back to Frederick. Big stop in a chain. Frederick tries to go over again. Oh, that timing is right, but the save puts up by Semzanov. You know what timing is up for? It's everything. Semzanov really got that one cleared up, and this was not a choice what he had to do for. And here's Carlo finding her way in there. Over in the middle now finds Frederick. Past the midway mark of the period as Libuskin has that puck covered in. Here's Riley on a chance to get it to Matthews. Kicks the puck out of here. In a brood zone, Grizzlick. Rebounded by Carlo after a big smack hit. Here's Kiki on a roll. Slowing it down. We'll have it across. Another hit for the Leafs. Brazu for the lead! Trying to move it around, and we're going to have to take a timeout already. I don't know what's going on. Well, it looks like they don't need a timeout. I mean, he's still alive out there. McAvoy will try to pick up a screen here, and now we'll have to take another look. Their team goes offside. Officially getting set, ready for the face-off. Still a tie game, looking for a next goal opportunity. And as for the win for the Bruins, Grasluck now finds a pass again to McAvoy. Here's a chance now to Brazu. Brazu over now to McAvoy. Finds again to Bubis. And this one gets carried out. McAvoy finds it over again to Wolverstone. Oh! What's going on over here? Let's say Petruzzi wants some revenge. He said he really wants it. He says, you're going to take me over? Give me some break. And now with the shot. Big save. Oh, big back. He scores. Unbelievable. Petruzzi entering the puck game. Leaks up extension. That was no way how Petruzzi could have had that one with a better chance effort. But this goal, keep in mind, that Chris Crasher puts in for Petruzzi get that one goal in there. He had that one smacking. After a big takedown, he had nowhere to go for. Uh-huh, that's what Petruzzi's been putting in for. Maple Leafs on a great pressure. They were really are starting to show things off again. But there is no way that they are trying to answer this one in clean. They can't believe it how they did. Yes, hey! Charlie Coyle comes in to save the day at the Petruzzi score. Now you know when the air puts up, it's on the goaltender. You know what happens now because that one is trying to save, but that was too late. That puck crosses the goal line. And then, that was Coyle that brought it in there. They had an answer back. An unbelievable moment. How can you just say that out? Because Carolyn Coyle answers the call. They're still going right now. They are really have been battling it up again. They're really trying to keep that out again. I'll try to find out which next goal comes in. And Lil Grim will have the puck again to Domi. Shannon Cook's got that puck here. Finds again to David Pasternak. Here's a chance here for the backhander save. 
I'm standing on what a great stop. Just 6.30 to go. An excellent effort for Samson Dog really needs to be out there for a lot. But all that happens now, there's a lot of great chance here that the Bruins are taking effort with. They really are keeping it over. And under again, you can find a better place than that. Here's Robert Spoon, right towards the right, and again to Marchand. Now he will try to reset it across again to Shannon Kirk. He got to the again to Bateman Pachinak. Back to Wilberspoon. Here's Shannon Kirk. Finds again to Marchand. He's right toward a wall. And back to Coyle. The Pachinak shot save! Samson uh, pulling it in there under six minutes. Pasternak is now bringing their team in for another win winning faceoff. And back to Bam Ayers. Bam Ayers to take the lead. Not enough to get there. 5. 44 left to go in the third period. Spans still want some more. Now the win for today. That's what we're will have it again at Sinninger. Here's a look for the Brux. The Brux trying to give it again to Wolverspoon. In the inbound, Grilling up the score! Knocks out Santanov. Nice with the puck. And the puck is still losing it. Here's Shannon Kirk right around the back. The Brooks, over spoon. Over to the Brooks. Fires it. Up and over the net, and it's out of play. Offense with the game set. About to turn in to back me down to five minute score. It's a still time. Win on. Present shot. No deflection for Van Van de Mites. And back to McAvoy. Still going alone. Zaka. Fires. Score! Zaka. Wham. And you did it. Back goal for 10 team. Up in the lead. That really has to be an open look. But Rafael Zaka has it. Brought them in. Another goal in the playoffs. How that screen look? How that happened is the Bell Zaka. He fires that shot. And that one is off a blueprint. And this was taking over it. Not a choice option. Looks like that team has been good for a while, but a successful rage. You know, because their team is really trying to answer it off, that's because of what the Bell Zaka is doing. Better take than ever. It's with no one does get the job done of how that happened to Pavel Zaka. Had that one come in, they're flying by. And that is where they take in here. Still a lot of time left, but hopefully there's another chance. Here's Rezek. Fires a shot. Now it's stopped by Santanov with just 4.32 to go. Now the fans are ready to take the face off. It's still now a tying game to a leadoff game as the Bruins are up by one. Tavius wins the faceoff. Libruskin again, finding over to Riley. Sliding across, McAvoy with it now. And DeBrusque will carry the puck out of here. On the outside zone, it's Libruskin again to Riley. Looks again, DeBrusque with a steal. Maple Leafs are adding another transition in with goals of another attack. Dumps the puck out as McElroy will have the puck in. The Bruins are on their way to make the attack again to Pasternak. Oh, big hit in the visitor's bench. That's not good at all. Well, they don't really like that. That is turning to be a little unchaotic. And David Pasternak goes with, really? That's what it's going to be an interference call? He would have had to agree with it, but the referee didn't signal it. McMahon. Right towards again the Labushkin shot. Off the deflection again to McAvoy. And here comes David Pasternak. Sliding it across. Labushkin trying to hold on to shot. Big save. Samsonov still not quitting here. They're in a final three minute in the third. Let's have a look in between at how they did. Over to you, Nico. Austin Matthews been showing off his shock and awe ability. But out this, my opinion, I chose that one because of Austin Matthews. He made that one a great attempt. That's all he does for. That transition is putting in a great work of his effort. There probably might be going to be a close game in between, but let's find out if they do. 
Lorraine to Carla. Shoots it. Great mix. And Bastianox gives it again to Lorraine, again to Coyle. Keeps her team alive as Carla shoots it. It's blocked. Carlo, back the arrow into Coyle. Marcia trying to have it over. So no contest here back to Lorraine. Lorraine keeps it alive to Carlo. Moves around. Nothing here. Back to Coyle. Coyle shoots. Locked it up as Nays will have it. Two minutes remaining in the third period. As now it's Brody with the puck. A chance for that broken play. Lorraine kicks it out of here. And here comes the Brutz. What a one opportunity. Here he comes. Oh, lost the puck at that time as Lundgren trying to battle for it. The Maple Leafs will have it again to Domi. Domi again to Brody. That broke up the play as Carla will have it. Carla gives it again to Mayus. Back again to the Brutz. Moves around again. Looks it in. What a wrist shot in, but that save puts up by Samson off. Blazer shoots. Big save. One ten to go. Nearing the end of the regulation. 4-3. Now the way we'll play it in. Here's McAvoy. Shoots it. Save again by Samson off. And her team is going to bring an extra skater down to a last minute remaining in the third. Nylander. Pass is broken up on the chain. Now finds Kiki. And Clayton. Lost the puck. Extra skate is on for the Maple Leafs. Big hit. Here's Frederick. Takes it over. Another bat save puts it up here. And the puck will skate his own. The goaltender's coming into the bench. Krasik now finds Kiki. 25 seconds left to go. Now finds Kiki. Losing the puck, now finds Lane. Fires it deep. Big save. Brother a shot. Not enough to beat there. Time is ticking down. Last man on. Here's Domi. Over with the shot. And he takes a steal. Grizzlick. Off the front of it. Shoots it. And he will take it in. No more rating. And it ends off the second year. Bruins wins the series. But not really. They're tied up. One more. You know how a battle that is? All goes to swimming. He delivers it all. What an excellent, great performance is, and now we salute to the fans, give a good credit to that. What an excellent game this is. I bet you now, Terry, that if you can't beat out by goaltenders, I know they don't. Not for anybody. That ends the second game. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you all again for the next game. Terry Cruz along with Son of Beast and Center Ice Pifo. Out of here. Peace out. Alright, tied for three stars. Brad Marchand only with a goal and five kids, but then Tyler Bertuzzi answers in the second star with a goal and a rebound. Finally assist with the crease crasher with eight picks. And Ilya Samsonov was a 74 saves of the game. He done a lot of them in his better vernacular motion. But that didn't change at all because that one ended off. And now he's on a deal with the total statistics. 78 over 30 for the total shots of goal for Boston. And then it was 69 over 39 hits for Toronto. 15-24 timeout attack for Boston over 3-15. Then it was 89 over 77 for the Toronto on the passing percentage. 35 over 28 for the Boston on a faceoff win. Then four minute penalty kill, two minute penalty kill, both down in between. Only one power play goal for Toronto with 243. Well, that's it for two games. We'll send you over to the Western Conference side after this is over, as we're making some a little bit of, a, little bit of adjustments, musical chairs, and get back into work, work, into offense. There's more in timing, but the between won't be enough all to have it in there. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on the A Sports. This will be your next game, Stars against Jets, and Golden Knights against the Canucks. Next game underway, after this. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.